Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to Eagles Canyon Raceway, uh, a lovely little circuit outside of Dallas, Texas. And this is Aaron, and thank you so much, dude. Aaron owns four of the cars we're driving today? Four of the cars. And boy, do you have a bizarre collection of weird shit. You are my kind of guy. <laughs> you clearly have money and taste, and you have chosen to use the money on things that have no taste. No whatsoever. value to anyone else. <laughs> <laughs> you have a bizarre collection of weird stuff that I just love so much. Yeah. Uh, so, we're starting with your Callaway. Uh, it's an 88, you said? It's an 88. 88 Callaway C4 twin turbo Corvette. This is a real Callaway car. Yes. Um, and uh, so, tell me everything about this car because it's all hilarious. <laughs> well, uh, Reeves Callaway, Callaway cars are still in business today. Uh, got a deal with General Motors in the 80s to build the upper echelon Corvette as yeah. a stopgap until the ZR1 was developed. Right. So um, I wanted a C4. I'd had one years and years ago when I met my wife, and, and we decided we would get another you, Corvette. You, wait, wait. So you met a woman <laughs> with a C4 Corvette? No, I had the Corvette. No, no. That's what I'm saying. You used a C4 Corvette to meet a woman. That's actually a world record. It, it is. <laughs> it, it was. It was the 90s. More importantly. Uh -huh. What what mixtape is this? 80s just says 80s on it. Brilliant. Okay, so the motor is a is a is a is a it's a real motor, right? The motor is the original Callaway motor. Yeah, it's uh you know from the cylinder heads down to the oil pan is all the way Callaway did it. Uh -huh. um, I actually talked to Callaway. They still support these cars to this day. That's and said, amazing. Hey, if you had a different cam choice because they were locked in by GM on uh -huh. some things, they said, well, we would have gone with something from TPIS. So it has the TPIS. Uh, so you have in the, it. you have what they recommended they would have done without being constricted by GM. Exactly. That's brilliant. Exactly. And then we did what's called the Wonder Bar, which is actually a piece it's of pronounced the, Wunderbar. The frame that has to be cut, boxed in, and then you add ports on the inlet and outlet, and the turbo actually sucks air through part of the Whoa, frame because the engine bay is just so yeah, it's very cramped. So cramped. Wow, that's so car. weird. So how much power does this make now? This car, we converted it over to E85. Oh. Um, this car makes 476 horsepower at the wheels. At the wheels. <laughs> and 607 foot-pounds of torque. At what um, RPM? And that uh, peak horsepower is around 4,500. <laughs> and your best bet is to short shift it around 4,800. Oh my God, it's it, like a diesel. It is. And then on top of all that, this is number number 12 of 400 Callaway twin turbo Corvette. 400 was a lofty goal. They actually, they actually built about 125. Yeah, yeah. I'm so I, I had Pete Calloway on our podcast and it was it was oh, great. Wow. It was great. He was telling us all kinds of cool stories about this. Go listen to that podcast. So I want to drive it. Uh, this is the four plus three gearbox, which is a weird gearbox GM used in the Corvette in the eighties. I've never used one. I have no shame in saying I've never used one, and I have no idea how to use one. So tell me. It's a, a computer controlled overdrive. Um, in 1983, when they were developing the C4, they did not have a five-speed that would handle the torque of the 350. Okay. So they talked to Doug Nash, who's not an OEM supplier. He's an aftermarket supplier. And he said, well, I think we can take an old big block T10, and then we'll put a two-speed automatic behind that, kind of like a power glide, and then we'll control it with your computer. This is so dumb. So it's so the dumb. The <laughs> best way to drive it is to uh, turn it off. Uh-huh. <laughs> and just drive it as a four-speed? And you drive it as a four-speed. Now there what should be an indicator at? on the dash that'll say OD when it's on. It doesn't. It, Nothing happens. It's not. It's not on until you're in second gear. Oh. That's part of the computer control. So when I get to second gear, I will have to turn if it off. If that shows up, just hit the button and the turn button. it off. And otherwise, I drive it as a four-speed. And then once you get to fourth, if you're at, on a freeway, then you click it into overdrive. What a and dumb system. Don't go into overdrive at full throttle. Okay. Um, because the overdrive boxes are not as strong as Doug Nash promised. Okay. Um, I mean, look, this is going to be interesting, and now I kick you out. Okay. And uh, this is going to be awesome. <laughs> Do we have? Is this car on like original brakes, tires, and suspension, that kind of thing? Pretty much. Not, I mean, I hope yeah. the tires aren't from the 80s. Yeah. No, the tires are a little newer than that. Okay. Um, but it is the original brakes. It okay. does have ABS. It's pretty good. Okay. Um, the, uh, the pads are... <laughs> Hawk. I mean, yeah. it, it's decent. All right. All right. I'll be back in a few. Okay. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. Here we go. Oh, boy. With the spec sheet, 475 rear wheel horsepower at 4,800 RPM. Wow. 
Can I also say, it's very airy in here with the uh, glass roof. Oh, this is so much different than a 928. Okay, I was just in a 928, that's why I said that. In the grand scheme of things, how this compares to a 928 doesn't matter. It's a Callaway! This is a real Callaway twin turbo C4. Oh, part of it feels so crappy. It feels flimsy and like a mess, but the throttle response, it wants to jump out of its own tires when I give it just a little bit of throttle. Okay, ready? Oh my god, this, thing, this 
see the front of it just like bouncing like a fucking 86 Broham. It's literally, this thing is like, it's like taking like a Ferrari F40 motor, you know, or like some kind of truck locomotive crazy engine and then just sticking it into a Cadillac and removing all the weight. That's what this is like. It's so weird because it just bobs and floats and glides and bounces like Tigger. <laughs> better than I would expect it. The steering is totally decent. I can get this thing in some of these hairpins. I can leave it in third and go down below 2,000 RPM and then just pull. Wow, really, it's a bumpy circuit and the car really just moves around a whole lot. See, I've been coming out through this corner in second. On this, this one, I'm just gonna leave it in third because watch, Watch what I can do with just third gear. That's 2,000 RPM. <laughs> the power is so crazy. Oh, I didn't notice this. There's an even better Easter egg in this car, which is that the speedometer, as the, as the Americans did in the 80s, they thought that if speedometers only went to 85, then people wouldn't ever drive above 85. And <laughs> For at least half of this circuit, the speedometer is just fully pegged at 85. It's very funny. The digital, the 80s digital gauges are amazing. What's my temperature? Oh, there we go, 183. Such a nice, cool day. I think I can do this entire circuit in third gear, which really does make my life easier. This thing's got long, long legs. I can't imagine what it must have been like trying to drive this thing like 220 miles an hour. cars it's a very very rare treat where there are those cars and the McLaren F1 is one the Venom GT Koenigsegg I mean it's a rare echelon of cars where you upshift and it pulls even harder like in this in this if I go flat in third and then upshift to fourth it pulls harder once you upshift, which is really some craziness. It's bouncy and boundy. <laughs> it's got so much power though. <laughs> it's so cool. This is a riot. <laughs> uh, I, I have to be honest, considering the tires on this thing are like whatever tires, it's really the dynamics are not terrible. Once you get used to it, it's really not, not bad. That, that power in third and fourth gear is so batshit. It's really kind of kind of scary because it, it jumps out at you a bit. I mean, it's probably 125, 100, something like that. I mean, it's the speedometer's pegged by the time I even get into fourth gear, but God, does this thing pull like a motherfucker. It actually has pretty good balance as well. I mean, it, it, it brakes decent. The brakes have held up okay. When you lift, it loads up that front outside wheel, helps you get the car turned in. I mean, it even has kind of a decent seating position. This is the first C4 I've seen in years with cloth seats. They look beautiful. Look at this. Come on, stick it, stick it, stick it. <laughs> How cool is that? I'm so glad I finally got to drive a Callaway C4. That's the real deal. 
We're just gonna go hammer down from three. my face there that was what happens that's what happens when you go flat through three gears on even a medium straightaway honestly I didn't think I was gonna make that corner <laughs> I'm not kidding that was the brake pedal on the floor and me in my own head I wasn't speaking because I was going fuck me fuck me fuck me fuck me and I thought I was about to write a check for a Callaway C4 Corvette but we are right we are right and uh, Aaron you're not gonna know about that until you saw the video. <laughs> no, that was cool. This thing is, this thing is a ton of motor. It's a ton of motor, and uh, <laughs> and there's even some some good behind that motor. Uh, the handling is pretty solid. The steering is pretty solid. Uh, the ride is probably very good for a road trip, although it's a little, for a bumpy circuit, it's a little, little bit of a, whoa! Um, it's, it's, the, the, it's so period that you kind of have to love it. It has such a charm to it. And uh, just to take myself back to 88 for a minute, if I, if, Knowing what a fast car from 88 looked and felt like, if you put someone in this at 88, they would have shit their pants. I don't think they didn't sell 400 of these because they were overpriced or not well made. I think they gave people test drives and people said, uh-uh, that's, uh, nope, that's too much. That's crazy. What a cool car. So thank you to Aaron for letting me have a go. That was a, that was a treat. Thank you for watching and, uh, and I'll see you tomorrow. Oh, and thank Eagles and Canyon Raceway for uh for having us out here on the house it's very kind of them see y'all later this car is hilarious hilarious